Hey there guys, today we're going to be building this slide with sides. Make sure you check out the description below, which has a list of all the tools, materials, alternative elements which could be used to swap out for this piece, as well as any other elements which could connect to it in some way. First thing you want to do is find a 24 by 1200 sheet metal. We're using mild steel for this one. You want a minimum 1.5 mil thick. And we've gone up to two millimeters just because it was what was available to us at the time. So it's a little bit harder to work with, but it is going to be strong as well. So you want to cut that sheet metal in half. And we're cutting that one lengthways, so you get a long strip. It's about 600 millimeters wide. Next, we're going to use the guide, which are on the Playground Ideas designs, to measure out where the cuts are going to be in this sheet metal. And then we're going to be able to bend that up so it gets a nice radiant curve going on there. So we're measuring 100 millimeters up from each edge on both sides, marking that down the whole way. Then we're going to fold those ones up afterwards. And then we're going to do 250 mils from this edge to the end here. And again, measure that. I like to do it three points, so you know it's going to be the same. And this will be the end of the slide that's going to be folding up. Then from that 250 millimeter mark, we're then going to make four more marks at 55 millimeters. We're cutting these notches into the metal here. You can do this either when it's flat or when you bent it. And that'll make it much easier to fold the whole thing up. Fold those in about 100 millimeters in the edges. And then for the platform at the base of the slide, you want it to go about 250 millimeters from the end. And then from there, we're going to cut out small little triangles, only about 12 millimeters wide at the edge. We're going to cut those into the sheet metal every 55 millimeters. We'll then be able to bend the whole thing up and make that nice gradient curve. Now once you've folded that metal to make that gradient curve, we can then weld that together, just do tack welds to start with, and that'll hold it all in place. So if you're building these uh, steps, just make sure that those distances in between there aren't going to be less than 23 centimeters, because that can be an entrapment hazard. When you're bending the pipe that's going to be sitting on top is the edge, you can use the same sort of technique that you did for the actual sheet metal itself. So we're cutting small sections out of one side of it. So wherever possible, if you've got access to a good welder, cut those pieces into small sections, not all the way through, so you're still leaving the pipe intact, but you will then be able to bend it into shape. Now you don't want any sharp edges on any of these pieces. So for the top of that slide at the edge, we'll put a little bit of pipe up on there and that's gonna be welded the entire way down the section. Smoothing out those edges so there's no sharp parts there and it'll give a lot of form to the whole piece as well. You don't need any underneath the bracing if that's going to be strong enough. If you're keeping these slides in the ground, especially at the footing there, you're going to have at least 400 millimeters or just over a foot in the ground as a footing. And we're going to cement that in place so it can't move anywhere. We're doing the same to the top. We're creating a structure that's going to be sitting in the ground. It's going to be a whole square structure, so it's going to be really strong with a little ladder on top. Anywhere that there's a bit of rust on this metal, make sure you clean it up beforehand. Uh, get a steel wool or a wire brush and a bit of turpentine as well and clean that off as best you can. You want to make sure that you get the primer all the way down to the base, even underground. That's where all the water is going to be pulling and you might not see where it's going to rust out. Make sure you get all of the red oxide metal primer right down to the base. You want to get a really, really good paint job on this one, especially down where the skids are going to be sliding, because that's going to get a lot of work. Do a few coats, do it as many times as you need to ensure that you're going to get a long-lasting finish. 
So now we're just putting a tyre into the ground at the base of the slide and this will just help to hold that earth in place, especially in these conditions where we might get some monsoons and stuff. So you want to grab these step-by-step -step instructions, they just show you how to go about building these pieces as you're going along. Really, really helpful, especially for some of these more technical pieces. So this design, as well as all of our designs, are made to be used in conjunction with the free safety handbook, which is available from the website. It's just down there. Hey, what did you think of the video? Please let us know down below in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of what Patrick's doing in India. You can go and visit playgroundideas.org which has 150 designs and all the resources that you need to build an awesome playground. And lastly, we've got a ton more videos to watch so check them out here.